What up, folks? Welcome back to the Source Code. I want to make this video because I'm tired of getting asked about Madden 17. So I'm going to say this yet again. There will be nothing new about Madden 17 this year. Trust me, there will be nothing new, especially nothing significantly new. Um, at the end of the day, no matter what you say, no matter how much you watch trailers or early release gameplay footage, or whether you have the game in hand, at the end of the day, you are still going to have to battle an AI system that is corrupt, no matter how you look at it. It doesn't matter that you have, this year you have updated rosters, or you now have all the Nike cleats you could have ever dreamed of. All of that isn't gonna matter when the AI system shifts your wide receiver out of bounds because they need to catch up. Again, I have to remind most people this, that your teammates are being controlled, not by you. Doesn't matter what play you call, they will still control your players. It is one against 21. And if you think that this year it's gonna be any different because they claim they calibrated the AI system a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, or a little bit here, or a little bit there. It won't make a difference. You're gonna need an outstanding slider set just to make the game playable. And that's just for some people because most people, they don't even like using slider sets. They like to just play the game straight out of the box. Every year is the same with Madden. Nobody really plays Madden all year round. I won't say nobody. There is very few people. The game costs 60 plus dollars. You get $2 when you turn it in. You stand outside for hours waiting for an early release. Gotta, gotta pre-order the game. You're gonna get that new Madden card. Those new Madden cards. They're gonna be, they're gonna be in, the, in the exclusive pre-release version. You gotta get that. You gotta get the My Team cards. What difference is that gonna make? The game will still be corrupt. The AI system will still dictate the gameplay. And you will, you will have little to no control when the AI system says so. That has always been true. You think it's gonna be any different this year? As I said before, it doesn't matter what gameplay footage you've watched. It doesn't matter which trailer you've watched. It doesn't matter if you have the game in hand. It doesn't matter what new cleats your players will be wearing. It doesn't matter what new jersey they're gonna be wearing. It doesn't matter if your favorite team, the roster will be updated. All of that isn't gonna matter because at the end of the day, you're still gonna be playing the same AI system you've played before. And what has that AI system done before? It has always cheated you. It has always robbed you. It has always shifted your player when you needed your player to stay in bounds. It has always caused you to fumble when you needed to hold onto the ball. It has always done that. You really think that this year it's gonna be any different? If you do believe that you're either A, delusional, or B, a young kid, because most kids, I'll say this, for most kids, they haven't played many of the previous versions of Madden. So they don't really, they can't really recognize that a lot of these so-called new features and modern versions were just pre-existing features in last year's versions or versions before that. They don't know they don't know the difference. But if you do know the difference and you've been dumping money into EA Sports for years, in a sense you're going to continue to keep doing it because you're going to wait you want to wait for a payoff. You feel like you've deserved it. You pretty much um, are an investor in a company. You've been you've been you've been handing them money for so long, you might as well have taken out stock. Madden 17 is not going to be anything new. Nothing there will be nothing new about Madden 17. Those things that will appear to be new will just be rearranged, rehashed uh, material that they've applied in years past um, or they have stolen from 2K. There won't be anything new. You'll go out there, you're gonna stand in line probably for at least an hour. You're gonna have a Madden party. You're going to, if you have a YouTube account, you're going to broadcast your gameplay. 
um, online for as many people to see as possible, you know, new exclusive material, stuff like that. That's always popular, always um, getting a lot of views. People are going to buy the game. They're going to be hyped for the first two months at least. Um, after that, it's going to decline like it always does. The first two months will be, oh, look at how Madden is so great this year. Look at look at how this is different. This one little insignificant feature makes Madden makes it makes it worth the sixty five dollars that I've just spent uh, purchasing the game. This one feature, these new cleats, these new updated rosters justifies everything, justifies years of investing in this company because most of us who actually are buying Madden year after year, you're pretty much investing in the company. You're keeping them in business. You're um, paying their gas bills. Um, you're paying their rent. You're paying their uh, mortgage. You're paying their electric bill, so on and so forth. Um, as I said before, most people who will buy Madden 17 will be kids. Um, the pre-existing features that will be applied to Madden 17 those kids they they most of them haven't played the previous versions of the game so they won't know the difference again Madden sales will be through the roof and everyone is going to use that to justify the fact that this year Madden has finally done it <laughs>